Yo, what's poppin' people? My name's I've got a drop a load, and you're probably thinking, where is who that Wednesday? Um, God damn it, know who that Wednesday this Wednesday, because this Wednesday I'm going to talk about more important stuff like uh, E3, you know, what's to come, you know, the future of gaming, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and first of all, let me just fix my fucking chair, because one of the little balls on the bottom of it is like falling off, and it like, it makes me lean over on my side. Alright, two seconds, two seconds. Prepare to meet your maker, chair. Ah! I will destroy you. Alright, I fixed it. <laughs> right, um, let's get going, let's get going. Okay. Uh, first I've got to talk about, just sum up all the other games really quickly, and then boom, babe, I'm going to go on to my pride and joy, the Battlefield 4. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, so what I liked, uh, Forza 5, I'm a massive Forza fan. Yeah, I, I really just can't wait. Like, the graphics in there just look amazing. Oh, bullissimo. So I can't wait to, like, make up my drift car. You know, just drift around in that. I, honestly, I think that's going to be sick. Um, I'm a massive, like, Elder Scrolls kind of fan. Anything made from Bethesda, really, I'm pretty stoked about. So the Elder Scrolls Online, which looks sick. Uh, really can't wait for that. I mean, that's going to be so fun. I'm not really into the like, the whole kind of big MMO RPG kind of thing, but I mean, with this, I'm definitely going to be because you know Skyrim and it looks fucking awesome. Uh, Assassin's Creed 4, it pff, looks fucking sick. You know, who doesn't want to be a fucking pirate, man? A pirate. It's like one of the coolest things out there. Um, you know, I didn't really like Assassin's Creed 3, I thought it was just a bit of an insult to the uh, Assassin's Creed 1 and 2 games, to be honest, so I never picked it up. I've, I've watched a lot of walkthroughs and stuff on it, and, you know, I still just don't think I'd like it, but with this one it just looks pretty awesome. Um, you know, I didn't expect myself liking this, but this game called Rise, uh, it's Xbox only, um, and it looks insane, you know, like graphics, fighting ways. Uh, you're like a Roman general, or yeah, you're like a Roman general or something like that, and you know it blew me away. Like that's why I like about it because it changed my opinion. It changed what I was gonna expect, and I think that's a great thing about E3 because normally there's at least one or two games every year which kind of just blows you away, uh, or maybe you think, oh, maybe I'd like this driving game even though I'm not really a big fan of driving games, like The Crew, that game looked fucking awesome. You know, some hardcore racers would like that because you get to customise your car, but then even some casual racers would like that because it looks like a, a lot of fun. Um, obviously Watch Dogs looks awesome. Um, the Last of Us as well, but I can't get it. It makes me so sad. Makes me so sad. Um, and Destiny, the new uh, Bungie game, looks pretty cool. Now, on to my second most anticipated game. I mean, this must be the same for everyone. It's called The Division. Um, it's about where, like, the economy kind of collapses, you know, things like that, like the infection. I don't think there's zombies and stuff. It's just, like, a lot of looting and stuff. And, like, the amount of detail that they went into in the gameplay is absolutely unbelievable. And it wasn't, like, this... Like, god damn, god damn, god damn, it looks fucking awesome, it's all I can say. It's like, words cannot describe how awesome this game looks. Uh, I mean, like, the HUD system, the, uh, god, like, when he went into the police station, and picked up that awesome gun, and, like, when he was, like, scaling, like, taking cover on the on a back of a car, and one of the doors was opened, and he was just, as he was shimmying across, he just, like, automatically closed it, I mean, that doesn't sound like a very good thing to be impressed by, but it is, because the amount of detail that they went into, like, within just little things and little movements, because you do that if you were getting shot at, and the door was open, you know what I mean, like, it's, like, just some of the detail they went into, like, just detail of the world itself, um, God, I'm literally blown away from it. I'm stoked. My like my bone is almost poking me in the eye. Um, now on to Battlefield 4. Woohoo! 
Oh my god. So when I saw this, I was, uh... <laughs> yeah. My god, when I saw this, I mean, it's pretty cool how... You know, just some quick things first, how they're going to be going into... Uh, there's going to be a lot deeper kind of customization to your character. There's going to be, like, bundle boxes where you can unlock dog tags, knives, camos, uh, you know, things like that. Um, literally, the only worry... Oh, that was a weird literally. Okay, I'm going to say that with less enthusiasm. Literally. Literally, the only worry I have for this game is... Um, maybe commander mode could be a bit OP, especially if there's one good commander or no bad commander. Um, I've seen that. I don't know if this might just this might change. Um, but if say you reload, like you get you fire five bullets and you reload, normally you get like the twenty five bullets just go into your infantry somehow, like magically. They will only the count the bullets that you fired. But if you reload a clip now, it looks like if you have any excess bullets in there, you know, they get thrown on the floor with the empty mag, if you know what I mean. So you're going to be running out of ammo a lot quicker, which is good in some ways because it does promote teamwork uh, for people to throw down ammo packs. But, and it, it does sense a realism as well, but I don't know, it's just like... For a lot of people, it is just a habit to reload after getting a kill. Ah, which I don't know, I'm not sure about. It's a touchy subject. Touchy, touchy, touchy. Like some booty. But, um, you know, the destruction level, which, oh my god, like some of the destruction just is insane. Like how he took down the pillar of the underground kind of car park and then boom, the tank fell through. I mean, genius, whoever thought of that. It's good how they've kind of balanced up the classes now as well. Uh, looks like Assault has got the ammo. Uh, Recon's got C4. And I'm guessing the support has got uh, med kits and revival abilities. Um, some of the new vehicles looks awesome. How they got like the kind of jackals, like heavy armoured vehicles instead of Humvees. Like because um, a lot of military aspects have moved towards that because of Afghanistan and stuff. Like they've got really heavily armoured kind of trucks now. You know, the only thing I can think about is I wanted to see, you know, familiar guns. Some familiar guns and some new ones. But it's good that they got new guns in there. They got like a lot of kind of Soviet guns, like a lot of Czech guns in there. Um, which is nice to see some of variety. Right, obviously, there are going to be loads of Chinese guns. You know, because they've got some crazy, like, variations of weapons. Like, oh, from Modern Warfare 3, that was the Type 25 and stuff. That's... I'm pretty sure that's Chinese. Um, but, you know, there's, the Chinese have got a lot of weird variations of weapons, but all very high-tech up there. So, god damn. God damn is the only thing. You know, it's cool that they bring about jet skis. I did love the jet skis in Battlefield Bad Company too. Um, you know, I really just can't wait. You know, it's one of those games where you just get really just stoked for, like... And how the realism of the, how the building tipped as it was going off and you had to get off it before a certain time. And my god, this commentary's going to run out, but i got so much more to talk about. It makes me sad. <sighs> Give this video a like if you have enjoyed like watching E3 and stuff. Love you. Bye. <laughs>